Hello and welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Moments in Manga and Anime After Dark. Today we are talking about the boys love manga, Melting Lover, so if this is not your flavor of spice or if you're under 18, please scroll away. I had never heard about this one before, but then I saw a T-Talk bestie posting about how this was going out of print, and I slapped my money down like I was betting on Mr. Rogers in the Ultimate Showdown. The only way I can think to describe this anthology manga is it's BL manga meets Black Mirror. The first story is the Melting Lover story. Our boy Kisuke here finds a shape-shifting blob, uh, which he names Riku because the blob takes the form of his crush. And uh, yeah, he uses that to his advantage because he figures he'll never have a relationship with his real crush. We find out he is absolutely obsessed with stalking him on social media and also planning what I assume is a breaking and entering. And uh, yeah, that's like half of it. But even though Kisuke is an asshole, Riku the blob still has feelings for him. I assume he melts because of emotions, but I'm not completely sure, but it gives me the ick. Story 2 is Bottom of Heaven. Izaki is a hitman of sorts for the Yakuza. For whatever reason, he's being followed by a male angel, who's tempting him with lots of vices to try to get him to stop doing hits. Try to save him from eternal damnation, because while Izaki's mostly emotionless, the angel loves him and wants to do whatever he can to try to make sure that they stay together forever. Forever. Story 3 is my favorite, and it's called The Circus After Midnight. I don't know if our main boy's name is Luke or Lucy. We're just gonna go with Lonely Boy Luke joins the circus. The ringleader of the circus is in charge, and everybody loves him and calls him father. Luke's new roommate is the loner animal trainer, Vaughn. Vaughn has a secret. The very sight or smell of blood turns him into a beast man. Luke is totally chill with it and they begin to build trust. However, Luke also has a secret. Pretty much immediately after joining the circus, Father became an abusive asshole towards seemingly him alone. While Vaughn's secret brought them together, uh, this secret could break them apart because Vaughn loves his father. The last story is called Noisy Jungle. It's a world of very human androids. And they carry on, interact, emote, and even love like real humans. But uh, yeah, real humans do exist. They're still very much humans, except they have been demoted to pet status. Our main android boy, Yumeo, has himself a human pet. Now, Poochie, fitting enough, even though he can walk and talk, kind of acts like a dog. But, you know, luckily, these two can talk to each other, because Yumeo is kind of going through an identity crisis. He longs to look and feel more human, like his human pet. But yeah, they totally have a relationship. A little bit of spice in every story. Yeah, I thought this would be really weird, but it was actually putting me through an emotional roller coaster. I wasn't prepared to feel so many feels. It's weirdly beautiful, in a beautifully weird way, and I fucking loved it. How every story is different, but it keeps with the theme of obsession and human ex non human. It's got some trigger warnings, but if any of this sounded interesting to you, definitely do not wait. You will miss your chance, possibly forever. Also, if you get a chance, check out my bestie who recommended this, Isaka Brooks. They got all the good BL <laughs> that I've never heard of. 